Hey everyone, just want to show um how I just want to show everyone today how I um mount my tarantula molds. So like mount them on a frame like this one. So this was from my Gramostola poker piece. I did that like um about a year ago, I think. I'm not sure. I did quite a few more, but I haven't made a video on it really. So today I'm going to show you um how I'm going to do it. So these are the things that you will need. So right here, this is just cotton. And I just spray painted this one black. And we're gonna use it to stuff the abdomen of the um, tarantula, just so it doesn't shrink. And we also have a couple tarantula molds right here. This was another mold from my um, Grandma Stola poker piece. She's just right here. She molted like a couple days ago. And this one's another molt from my female Brachypelma smithy. And you also need like a cardboard, bo uh, cardboard boxes or you can use um, styrofoam. So this one I just covered with um, tissue so you, um, or just paper towels so you can um, easily see what I'm doing later. And you'll also need warm soapy water and a few pins like tissues or paper towels whatever um i guess you'll need your frame so that you can display your mounted tarantula later oh yeah i forgot to tell you you're gonna need some um i guess scissors a few forceps right here so yeah and we'll so start now first we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna soak the tarantula molds in warm soapy water and leave them in there for a few minutes to about an hour so it will just make it more pliable and easier to work with so just gently put them under water this was the mold for my Grandma Stola poker piece. Okay, so it's been um, a couple minutes since I've um, soaked the both tra um, tarantula molds in the warm soapy water. And um, I checked the other one, the Brachypelma smithy, and yeah, her abdomen's quite, quite torn, so she might not be the best... Um, like subject for this one so anyway um, I've spread out my Grandma Stola poker piece mold so like the abdomen's not in the best shape but I think I can still pretty much repair it so there's like a hole in there and it's kind of torn up in here so we'll just patch it up I guess so yeah so there you go First, what we're gonna do is um, just position some pins here, so you're not poking through um, the tarantula. You're just basically just holding it down. So just go in here also. Oops, just carefully. Might be easier if this was styrofoam. We're gonna work on the abdomen first because the legs will pretty much they're they're gonna be easier. Um, and then we'll grab some of our cotton which I spray painted black. Mm. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier. Also gonna need some glue. Let's see if I can find some. Just some super glue. So anyway, see if we, we can fashion like a tarantula abdomen out of this cotton. So I'm just gonna. We're not gonna aim big too, cause um yeah, it's much harder to work with. So, we'll look like a skinny tarantula. Okay, that should work. Kind of like that. Oops, sorry. So, probably just like that. 
put that down here. So I'll spread this one a bit. like a teardrop shape. And it might work. Yeah. Let's see if we can just cover as much of it as we can. this up so this is the carapace right here I'm pulling up with the rest of the abdomen like the top part that might work yeah. These are very delicate. Okay, um, I don't know how I'm gonna glue this one. Probably need more stuffing? I don't know. I think that's fine. I'll see. Okay, so, gluing. This is like a seam right here, so we can glue that. You know what? We're gonna try to position the carapace like more centered. Come on. Center. Alright, okay, so just a little bit of glue. Glue, 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 glue. Alright, hope I won't glue my hands. And press it down a little bit. No, it won't look the same as a real live tarantula, but we'll try to aim as close as we can. There you go. There's like a seam right there, I don't know. I don't even think I'd be able to close that up. We'll see. Um, okay, the other side is... Okay, there's a much larger seam right there. Um, okay, I'm gonna glue it. Patch it up with a bit of glue. the spinnerets just so it shows when we um, position the tarantula on the frame so pull it out a bit make sure you don't break it they're very delicate perfect and what you can do now with the abdomen because you don't want it moving around so we're going to put pins around it same thing with the spinneret, so what I do is uh, I'll probably put like one here, another one here. So remember we're not poking through this um, the tarantula, we're just um, putting it around the tarantula. Is that centered? I think it's centered, I don't know. Um, another one here, that 
should keep it in place. Now, um, just gonna stretch out the legs a bit so we can glue the carapace um, on top of the tarantula. So, okay, just position that. Let's see. If we can also pull the um, fangs out a bit so it's easier to put the carapace in. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Work with me. Good girl. Uh, okay. Oops. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. Um, I don't want to own this tarantula if it looks like that. Um, <laughs> okay, what do I do? Sometimes I also put like a just a piece of cotton inside, just so you can hold the top and the bottom of the carapace together. And you kind of glue that in, okay. so it opens like a hinged door. If you can see, it's still wet in there, but yeah, who cares? So, dab bits of glue. Push that in. Uh oh, did I put too much? I didn't put too much. More glue. Should be good. Uh oh, hope I didn't crush it. Trying to be gentle, but uh, um, sometimes I also just glue the sides. But make sure because the glue sometimes dries up and it looks kind of white, so just kind of hide it, like in there, just on the sides just so it holds the sides also. We're not gonna completely glue it. And if some of the white, um, like if the glue dries up and it shows up white, we can just color it up with marker. And yeah, it's like that. Okay, now we'll do the legs. So I'm gonna try to position the legs like that. Remember we're putting it inside the frame so we can't make the tarantula look high. So it has to be a bit flat. And also you kind of stretch it a bit. Okay. Oh, it should work. Awesome also with the legs outstretched because um just makes it look a lot bigger. much better. Put this back on. Last one. Oh no, well, we're still gonna do the things also. Uh, come on. A bit hard, so just be gentle with that. Uh-oh. Well, I'm gonna have to fix that later. Okay. Uh, 
fangs, 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 fangs. There's one. She broke her other fang. I didn't notice that. Oh, I hope she grew it back. She was eating fine though, but yeah, I didn't know she broke her fang. Okay. Mm, kind of want to keep them together, but it really work well. see I kind of pulled the fangs out just so it shows and it's pretty much our the position of the T so I'll try to reposition the abdomen so it's more centered and after you're done with that we're basically just gonna dry this um, tarantula uh, it takes like a few days usually I dry it up for about a week um, you can leave it outside if it's sunny but make sure um, you kind of check check every time also because yeah a lot of critters will try to eat it especially ants or I don't know like other bugs um, best place to leave it at would be I don't know just on top of something that's constantly warm so like uh, I don't know, on top of a fridge make sure though like your family members know that you have it there and also I don't know on top of a CPU um, for your computer and yeah and you can just leave it in there for like a few days until it dries up and then once it dries up then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna frame it and also I'm gonna show you the finished products for this one well anyway thanks and join me for the other part of the video thanks